large number have come over from the province of Southeast Asia in order to mark the ending of two strategic missionary organisations that have been on the go for over 100 years. And they've come over to anticipate a new beginning too that builds on a long-standing relationship of partnership and trust with Litchfield Diocese. These exchanges are for mutual learning, for mutual encouragement, and we ought to explore more ways on how best to make this uh, relevant and a source of encouragement for our churches. We've been sharing something of the life of the parish here and uh, just different ways to cross the parish in which we're seeing um, our longing and our passion of living for Jesus, loving one another and setting a table for the world. The province of Southeast Asia is diverse, uh, most, although most of it is rural, but we do have city setting, Singapore for example, West Malaysia as well. So what we saw today, we are drawing a lot of lesson from it. And I must say that the Diocese of Litchfield is, is, is in the right path, as it were, to reach out to people. We joked about something of the huge kind of life um, numbers of people uh, in churches in Malaysia, and I think that's a, a wake up call to us here. But at the same stage, they spoke in their own culture of how it's becoming harder to be a Christian and how it's becoming harder to belong to the life of the church. We are also dealing with people in the cities who are um, confused, who are finding uh, what the church is for. And this field is kind of meeting that very uh, challenge that we are facing. And so maybe in an odd way, and perhaps a sad way, we know something of that story. And we know in this church, and this culture, and what it is uh, still to be thriving, about li living in a culture where it still feels difficult to follow Jesus. Uh, because the province of Southeast Asia, as I said, is still largely rural, and uh, people are still very excited about the church. The church, at present, is leading in trying to get the communities together to get on with life and the church is there with its education program, health program, social development program. I was very keen to show that whilst there are many churches that are struggling and growing old, there are a lot of fresh exciting expressions too which can be particularly encouraging when their view of what's going on in the Church of England can often be rather negative. So we're here today for that purpose.